Youth Awards uh, help young people to develop skills for learning, life and work. An increasing number of awards uh, now carry uh, SCQF levels and, uh, and are therefore recognised as formal qualifications. Every young person is entitled to have their achievements recognised, academic and non-academic, and Youth Awards are a brilliant way of doing that. So here at Lochiel Outerbound Centre near Fort William, we work with about 5,000 young people a year in Scotland and we help young people to develop their skills and attributes that will help them to deal with challenges that they might face in life. For example, becoming more confident and resilient. The course that we have credit rated on the SEQF is the Adventure and Challenge Award which is a five day programme and it runs Monday to Friday at the centre and the young people will gradually build up the challenges which they face. So they'll start with small kind of team building challenges where they get to know another and get to know what they're capable of and the challenge level will ramp up relative to the young people that come to the centre and relative to that group. Every single course that comes here is slightly tailored to the young people and their abilities so they have challenge by choice and they can understand the development that they're having. So we want them to be stretched, we want them to be challenged through so learning and everything that Outward Bound does in terms of activities will be designed around the learning objective. So in this case, the Adventure Challenge Award being on the SEQF, every single activity, we will understand what that experience means, what the outcome is and what the performance criteria that the young people have to do to, in order to achieve the level for the Adventure Challenge Award, which is credit rated on the SEQF. So that really helps the young people to understand the learning which you're going through, but also helps the school to recognise this is a level five award. The Youth Awards and Outward Bound really benefit our young people because it's basically getting them to explore and learn skills that they don't always get an opportunity to learn in the school setting. They're exploring the school values of respect and responsibility uh, and compassion. They're really exploring how they are using those values and how they will help them become a person that will have the resilience uh, to keep going in life and to, to do the things that they want to do. So when they're writing their application forms for jobs and maybe for university, if they've got on their qualification certificates that they've done this, you know, and it's over four maybe years, they won't forget that they did this and this really will give them skills for life and skills for work. A lot of young people certainly look at their education as being their, their A's and B's. You know, that's all that matters is getting their A's and B's. But what we're always looking at is not what we want to teach, but actually what young people need. Having taken a lot of information from organisations such as Skill Development Scotland, a lot of the research that's been done, uh, things like meta skills are invaluable and they're the sort of skills that pupils might not get if they're stuck in their four walls of a school the whole time. It gets them out, gets them thinking and it really develops that uh, positive mindset that they need for understanding what the world's like, especially coming from a small place like Gerloch. I'm planning on staying in Gerloch and um, my dad's a fisherman and he does boat trips so I really just want to carry on that. Especially in the tourist industry, you need to have a lot of confidence um, to speak to new people, which this definitely helps with. Quick thinking on plan making and stuff like that. Also, I think it really pushes you um, to come out of your comfort zone, but for the best. I decided to start up the Level 6 Young STEM Leader Programme for the six years at Calder Glen High School. Within the Young STEM Leader Programme, uh, what people are doing is they are becoming basically mentors and leaders to their peers, so they're creating and developing lots of different STEM activities to kind of motivate younger pupils or their peers, or to inspire pu pupils that are coming through the school to get involved in STEM subjects. And, like there's lots of ways that they've been doing that and they're basically keeping a log of everything they're doing as they do that to kind of generate evidence and create this logbook. As a tutor assessor I'll go ahead and kind of look through and mark and kind of provide feedback and then eventually by the end once they've kind of been through verification they get their qualification so it means they'll get SCQF points which will obviously look great in their CV and also by having it they're increasing their chance of getting to a positive destination when they leave school as well which is fantastic for them. I think it's helped me in other areas of science as I only started doing more STEMI subjects as I got further up the school so it's helped me um, develop my knowledge on it and understand all the careers that it can lead into and 
um, think more into my decisions of where I want to go after school. Well it's really helpful to have on your personal statement, um, it stands out when you have a young STEM leader qualification above your other hires and advanced hires. So I think it would stand out to universities when applying and also future employers would probably be quite interested in it. All of these uh, awards are about recognising the, the, the learning that young people do. Learning is not just exclusive to schools and it's not just exclusive to exams. It's my pleasure to have community learning and development and therefore youth work as part of my ministerial responsibilities. Youth awards epitomise the philosophy that not all learning is done in the classroom. They're important in recognising young people's achievements in schools or colleges and in the communities that they live in. And they provide young people with opportunities to develop the skills they need to succeed in life. That's why it's important that we raise awareness and promote the benefits of Youth Awards alongside other qualifications. Youth Awards complement learning done in the classroom and offer the right recognition at the right time in the right way for many young people. Adaptability, confidence, leadership and integrity are all skills that we needed in Scott's future workforce and Youth Awards enable young people to develop all of these skills in abundance. At Calder Glade we have a focus on basically building people's skills for life after school and the SCQA has loads of opportunity for pupils to build those skills so we're able to develop the young workforce. I've worked at the SCQF now for since um, we designed the programme with North Lanarkshire. They know in terms of young people this is something that they need, they want to support and so they've been really supportive of Outer Bound but also making sure that people know that this exists. This is something that young people, their learning will be recognised in these experiences and that's what the kind of credit rating of the SCQF does. It helps youth awards such as the Outer Bound Adventure Challenge Award to be dovetailed in really neatly into what schools are trying to achieve and I think that's why it's, it's so important.